Well, hello, Shoreline Congregation and friends of Shoreline. Uh, we're in our, in our last Wednesday devotional of the month. This is your devotional from March 30th. And we're also finishing up this reflection on the power of our words. And there's a really fascinating kind of comparison or, or juxtaposition that you're going to see in this passage. I want you just to listen to these words from James chapter 3, verses 9 to 11. And notice kind of this, this comparison and this contrast and how these two things go together. Verse 9 says this, With the tongue... We praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who've been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or grape, uh, grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. The point is this. If you have a spring that has water flowing out and half the water is salty and half the water is fresh and it's all flowing out together, what do you have? You have salty water. <laughs> it, you, no one's going to call it fresh water. It's, it, it, you mix them together. He's saying you, know, you, you can't go to a, a fig tree and look for olives. You can't, you, you can't, certain things bear certain things. And here's the point. Our words, if we follow Jesus, our words, our mouths should open and we should bring words of blessing. Words of encouragement, words of kindness, words of grace. But here's the problem, and James is so clear about this. The same mouth can, can sing praise to God and worship God. You gather with God's people and you sing praise. You can sing a great old hymn, a mighty fortress is our God and glorify God. Or, or you can sing shout to the Lord, you know, it's 70s, Maranatha. You can sing praise, uh, sing your song. And then on the drive home, someone cuts you off and you go, you... Praise the Lord. No, you, 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 uh, and you unleash this, you know, this rant of profanity. Uh, you in, thank God and then you tear down people with your words. And I love James's words. He says, my brothers and sisters, this should not be. Our mouths should be devoted to praising God and blessing people, to glorifying Jesus and building other people up. So our prayer is going to be, Lord, let me guard my mouth. Keep letting the good things come out. But help me to really learn to curtail and stop speaking words that are damaging, hurtful, bitter, resentful, judgmental, gossipy. Lord, this is our prayer. We know the power of our words. We've been thinking about these last three weeks in these devotionals. We pray that what comes out of our mouth would be consistently words of blessing and kindness and goodness. Help us bite our tongue, stop our mouth from talking, and Lord, let us just overflow with good things for others through the words that we speak, starting with praise to you. We pray this in Jesus' glorious, beautiful, powerful name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week. And as always, we meet at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock on campus and online at Shoreline Church. You're, you're more than welcome to join us. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.